Yeah, habitat destruction is a global problem and it has global impact. And it has impact on animals, have impact on plant species, but most importantly, it has impact on people. Because people depend on the environment uh, for ecosystem services and uh, uh, pure water, uh, clean air, and, uh, and the food, all depend on the uh, environment. And if we don't have good environment, we don't have good habitat for wildlife species or plant species, then the water will not be clean, the air will not be clean, and the food will not be produced in a more efficient, effective way. A lot of times we just they know the food comes from the grocery store, but actually those food in the uh, grocery store come from ecosystems. So we need to protect the habitat and uh, uh, protect the habitat for uh, animals and the plants, but most importantly, protecting the habitat for them is to help us, the humans. In our research uh, in China on the panda habitat, we have found that the habitat destruction for pandas has been uh, increasing rapidly. And uh, even in nature reserves, which are established to protect the habitat, they actually increased the habitat destruction after the nature reserves are established because uh, uh, there are people, local residents, inside the reserve. Those people, local residents, have to survive. They're not living a luxury life, but they have to depend on the local resources, like the forest, for their daily life. They have to cut down the trees as a fuel wood to us as a major energy source to cook food for, for them and uh, for the children, also to heat the house in the winter time, and also cook food for the livestock, like pigs. And uh, so those are important energy source for the local residents. And um, also uh, to cut down trees, to build houses or build roads and bridges and so on and so forth. Uh, um, so that's uh, an important uh, driving force for habitat destruction. The research that we are doing at the Michigan State University is very important for solving those uh, important uh, problems. And because we integrate not just ecology, but also social sciences, economics, so uh, sociology, and policy into our uh, research so that we can understand uh, what happens to, to the habitat, the causes of the habitat also the solutions to solve the problems of habitat destruction.